This is your family room or another bedroom on the first floor if you make it into a bed and breakfast or it's a home office for the professional. You're on US 2 Military Street. You can walk to everything in Holton. Welcome to 64 Military. Five bedrooms up, five rooms down, two bathrooms on the second floor, and you have an attic that you can expand into. If you had to describe this home, it would be French doors, hardwood floors, tin ceilings, fireplaces. A lot of work's been done, but there's more that's needed. Is that what you're looking for? See that front entry door? That's a $2,500 one with the side lights. These are just some of your ceilings that are tin. This is more of the tin in the living room that has the cornices over the windows, that has a fireplace. Are you the kind of person that wants a grand older home? You don't want to live in a shoebox ranch like everybody else? This one has character. Maple hardwood floors in this room, these are Georgia pine. This would be a nice little den with a hookup for a wood stove or a gas log heater. You overlook a nice backyard with trees. You're not staring at a bunch of houses. And this room has more tin ceilings, as luck would have it. Off that den, or what could be a first floor bedroom, is a nice hall room with, you guessed it, more tin ceilings. Tin ceilings in this family room too. From the family room, through the dining room that have hardwood flooring, and off that hall room is your kitchen. There's a rear stairway, there's a laundry hookup. This was all naughty pine. They got tired of all the natural woodwork, so they've got a Scandinavian look kitchen underway. Like it? Or want to yank it? Now's the time. You're on the ground floor for doing improvements. Did you really want that colonial look wallpaper? Me neither. Someone did, but once it's your house, put paint, put other wallpaper up. The work's been started. Here's looking down the hallway from the other angle, and that's a big walk-in closet. The formal dining room. Gorgeous, original wainscoting, and a built-in buffet, a bay window wall, and, yep, tin ceilings. Backing out of that formal dining room is an archway to another den or study. This is your family room or another bedroom on the first floor if you make it into a bed and breakfast or it's a home office for the professional. You're on US 2 Military Street. You can walk to everything in Holton. Tin ceilings in this family room too. The rear entry has a new insulated door, just not as fancy as the one on the front. Boy, I like this one. The side lights are what really make it stand out. New stairway treads, some new banisters. They're all covered on the treads to protect them. More hardwood flooring on the second level. Bedroom one, unless you use one downstairs with tin ceilings. This room had a doorway to a bathroom. They closed it off, but you could open it up. There's a closet. I bet you know what this room is. the doorway that you could reactivate. You have another bathroom. You just need some fixtures to make it work. It's off this bedroom. Withdrawal in this room. Sorry, no metal ceilings, no tin. But southern exposure, western exposure, and you do have a closet. 
and this future bath. If you've been around remodeling, if you watch Bob Vila or check out Pinterest on the remodels, you can picture this bathroom. It's big. It just isn't finished the way you had dreamed in your head. Local plumbers, construction workers, electricians, everything like the house price is low to the ground, low cost. More glass doorknobs. The original doors upstairs as we leave this bedroom. The two front ones are the sunniest. Heading down the hall, we've got a walk-in closet. Three more bedrooms. Bedroom three on the second level. Yes, there is a closet. Two more bedrooms. One has that back stairway. The northwest bedroom. Neat old windows. This one's the most quiet. We'll check out the attic in a moment as the last part of the second floor extension. This is the stairway to that kitchen. Most of the traffic would use that front staircase with the new treads. This has hard pine floors and has a closet. Five bedrooms and heck, two more downstairs if you wanted to. Isn't seven enough? You need more, got it. Your attic that's not finished. Is it just storage? Is it a penthouse apartment? Is it a place you study and work from home? Remotely? Make comments down below. What would you use this region for? We still got to show you the basement that has all the new foundation walls. Don't sneak away yet. Most of the roof is new asphalt shingles. A lot of this basement was brand new concrete. Behind that technofoam and styrofoam is a garage basement, a place to be able to bring things in to work on or to store. No, they didn't just replace a short section of basement wall that might have crumbled or been deficient. This is new foundation wall too. A previous owner did that kind of work for a living. You and I would have to sell a duplicate organ, pay a fortune to get it done. Your oil, hot water system. You've got to put a zone on the second level, but there is heat when the pipes aren't drained for the first floor. This is a root cellar, or a place to discipline the kids. No, I didn't say that. You're going to want to glean the local fields and put your barrels of potatoes, carrots, your bread and butter pickles down here. The optimum temperature for a root cellar, 37 degrees, so that you'll have lots of food all winter long. See the hookup for a toilet? There was a toilet down in the basement and could be again. There you have it, 64 Military Street, 122 feet of frontage on what's technically U.S. Route 2 by 165 feet deep. It's a Dutch colonial, a gambrel style, and it's right near all the other beautiful homes that Holton, Maine, a Victorian town that's bordering Canada, is known for. Walk to Market Square, walk down to the band concert, head to Cary Library, it's all in your backyard. Nice house, but are you the kind of person that likes to tinker? Are you a DIYer? Do you have patience for a slow cooked home? Not fast food needed already right now. Take your time, save a lot of money. You have yourself quite a home. This one's got great bones. Hi, I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. Look down below in the show more region for the price, for how to contact us, for the links to get more information besides the video. And please make comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time on the next property listing in Holton, Maine.